What's up guys, it's Charles here with D2APDesigns.com. I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today is going to be an Illustrator tutorial and I'm going to be covering um, making like gradient logos in, in Illustrator obviously. Um, I, I recently was doing a project for a client where um, I ended up making some gradient logos and they turned out pretty cool and I thought I would share it with you guys since it's fresh on my mind. Um, this will be my second attempt at recording this because the first time I forgot to record the audio, so I was talking to myself pointlessly for about seven minutes. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. Um, over here, I'm going to grab the rectangle tool. Let's go ahead and uh, scale it up. I'm going to hold down Shift and Alt so it scales in the center, and I can also um, scale it in proportion, or keep the proportions. Okay, I'm just going to change the color to black for now. And then after I do that, I'm going to grab out the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down Alt so it scales in the center. And then I'm just going to drag it out to something like. So like that, I'm going to change the color to red so I can see it better. And then I'm going to right click on it, transform, uh, rotate 90 degrees, and then copy. So there we go. I'm going to take the pen tool. I'm going to turn off the color red. Um, from this corner to this corner. And then from this corner to this corner, and then from the top here, oops. from the top here to the bottom, and then um, across. So there we go. We have that. And then what I'm going to do is come over to my Pathfinder, hit Divide. If you don't have your Pathfinder. Go to Windows and then Pathfinder should be right there. Or Shift Control F9 is the shortcut for it. Alright, so now we have all these pieces. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove um, the bottom here and this corner. And this is what we have left. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the gradient on it. Uh, I'm going to delete these inner pieces right here. Don't really need them. Alright. So we have that now. And then I'm going to right click, transform, reflect. Um, as you can see, I have it on horizontal angle zero. Just hit copy. And then we'll just go ahead and line this up like that. And now let's go ahead and change the gradient to like a dark blue, uh, something like that. And then a light blue or lighter blue. Yeah, something like that looks good. And then once we've done that, we'll go ahead and right click, transform, reflect it again. Um, go ahead and switch it to vertical this time. Again, hit copy. And just drag this over. And then let's do maybe a purplish color. Or actually, that's. I don't know what that would be considered. I can't, I can't really think of what it's called. So this sort of pinkish red color with the uh, violet and then we'll go ahead and transform reflect once again this time horizontal copy drag it up and then for this one we can do like an orange and yellow something like that I'm gonna reverse this though I want this one to be orange and yellow and then I want this one to be like that really reddish and purple yeah something like that yeah so there we go and then I'm gonna copy this and what you can do is you come up here to effects and hit warp and there's all these different things you can do. I'm going to use Inflate. Click Preview so you can see what it's doing. And as you can see, it distorts it and warps it in different ways. But everything starts splitting up, which is fine if that's what you want. Personally, I don't want it to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I select everything. I'm going to come over to my Pathfinder and hit Merge. Um, if you hit um, Unite, what happens is it puts everything together and then everything's the same gradient. You don't want that to happen, obviously. So hit Merge merges everything together and keeps the color separated. If you don't have your Pathfinder over there, like I do, just go to your window and then hit Pathfinder right there. Okay, 
So now I'm going to select everything again. I'm going to go to effects. Uh, where's where is it? Warp. Inflate. Click preview on again. And then I can just mess with these different settings, get different looks, different styles. Um, you can go through the list here and check out some of the different things they have. But anyway, I'm going to go with that right there. Um, once you've done that, go ahead and select everything again. Go to Object, Expand Appearance, and there you go. That's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and hopefully I have the audio turned on this time. I'm out of here, guys. Till next time. Peace.